All right, celebration. Let's all celebrate and have a good time starting with Sarah and our talks on Mexican photographer Lola Alvarez Bravo. Yeah, what a good what morning. A, I was gonna say, what a, what a photographer celebrating the, the life and styles of uh, Mexico. Um, you know, sir, I'm, I'm excited about this one, I gotta say. Yes, she's quite formidable. Um, and happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Happy Cinco. Happy Cinco. So here is a photo of our artist. This was taken in 1920. So Lola Alvarez Bravo was a Mexican photographer known for her surreal and modern documentation of Mexico's people, cities, and villages. Uh, she said, quote, if my photos have any value, it's because they show a Mexico that no longer exists. Uh, born Dolores Martinez de Anda on April 3rd, 1903 in Lagos de Moreno, Mexico. She spent most of her childhood raised by her brother in Mexico City. In 1925, she married the photographer Manuel Alvarez Bravo and became his darkroom assistant. Uh, and so through her husband, she met Jose Clemente Orozco, Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, both artists that we've discussed before and actually photographed them several times. Uh, she separated from her husband during the mid-1930s, but she retained his name and embarked on her solo career. In 1944, Alvarez Bravo had her first solo exhibition at Mexico City's Palace of Fine Art. As a photographer, she traveled throughout Mexico documenting scenes of everyday life, uh, but her creative contributions went beyond her artistic output. Her other roles included art teacher, curator, film director, and gallery owner. Uh, so from 1951 to 1958, she ran her own gallery based in Mexico City, during which time she presented her friend Frida Kahlo's only solo exhibition in Mexico during her lifetime. And here are a few photos of Frida that Lola had taken over the years. Uh, the images capture the painter during her weakest moments and show the consequences of the ailment that took hold of the artists from the moment of the traffic accident that changed her life when she was a younger uh, teenager. And these photos were exhibited at the National Museum of Women in Arts in 1991, just two years before Bravo's death. Here's a photo of a burial happening at Yalalug in Oaxaca. A Yalalug cross, as you could see on the right, is a particular style of Christian cross made in Yalala, Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, it's a pendant cross with medals on the arms um, and the cross is made of heavy silver. And there's many variations on the basic design but all of the crosses um, have medals hanging from the, the terminals. Uh, the particular crosses have been made in Yalala since at least the 16th century. And they have an undetermined origin. Similar crosses are worn in Spain, and the design is thought to have been brought to the area by Dominican missionaries who converted the local native population to Christianity. Uh, but over time, the cross lost its Spanish character and became a Mexican object made by local natives. Lola Alvarez Bravo celebrated the traditional costumes and customs of her country's varied regions. And they did vary uh, drastically by region sometimes. So the woman in this photograph wears a black wool wrap skirt and woven belt um, distinctive to the village of Coyapan in the mountains, uh, the mountainous area of South Central Mexico called Morelos. And while the photograph itself is unposed, the composition of it has been carefully planned, kind of creating a sense of mystery because of the mother's unseen face, the child's startled gaze, and the cropped forms of the people on either side. Uh, Alvarez Bravo stated, quote, to begin with, I find something that attracts me. Then I immediately try to make it perfect in composition and light. In El Numero 17, we could see her playing with light and exposure. She states, I was the only woman fooling around with a camera in the streets and all the reporters laughed at me. So I became a fighter. Uh, and this particular piece is located at MoMA in New York. Her modernist style showed the daily life of people, uh, but while playing with light and shadows of the moment that she portrayed. Uh, and so because these photos are black and white, light and shadow really are the two main elements that she can play with. 
and manipulate to create the uniqueness of her photographs. Uh, the piece on the left shows the shadow that the girls and the flag are creating on the sidewalk, whereas the photo on the right shows the light and dark contrast of the woman's dress and the background to her skin tone, uh, the child's hair color, things like that. Uh, here again, we can see her playing with shadow. These photos are definitely more surrealist maybe than her other photos of peoples and traditions, which are maybe a little bit more modernist. Uh, but shadow is the main focus of these photos. But she's also experimenting with texture and how that affects shadow. Uh, so the texture, for example, of the fabric curtains on the top left in fabrics, it creates a different shadow and tone than per se the craggly wooden steps of the photo in the bottom right. And obviously then you have the cross hatching uh, of the jail cell and, and the texture that that creates on the photo. Alvarez Bravo thought architecture uh, could be subversive and revolutionary. Uh, this was created in 1958. Uh, this photograph was created by cutting and pasting images from different sources, and then she rephotographed it to create a, a new seamless print. Um, it shows a chaotic and overwhelming view of some of Mexico City's most emblematic buildings. Alvarez Bravo's photo montage of about 14 different edifices creates this modern and overwhelming concrete jungle. And the height is exaggerated by the play of scales, the scale between the different buildings, the different constructions, as well as their contrast with human scale. Uh, and you can see in the smaller photo that her piece down here, the, the piece right here on the wall was included in the film La Rival in 1955, where it was pasted on the wall of an architect's office. Uh, and this piece, really is a statement about Mexico's traditions and its past, which she's best known for capturing, versus its changing and modernizing future. Here we have another city landscape, uh, and this one blends that idea of the city versus the country, the old versus the new, and it even adds a pop of color this time, um, which could also signify moving towards a more modern way of processing photos. Uh, but she also adds the green to highlight the natural vegetation of the Mexican landscape. And finally, uh, Lola Alvarez Bravo received recognition for her work throughout her career and after her death, including solo and group exhibitions, awards, and most recently here, a Google Doodle in honor of her 117th birthday, which would have been April 3rd, 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. As always, this is an excellent art talk, and it's very, it was very uh, exciting to hear about the culture of Mexico, particularly on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, I had not actually known of her before, so thank you.